Hi, I'm Chris Edwards and welcome to this week's Tennis Warehouse vlog. This week I'm giving you a sneak peek at the new Yonex v cores are going to be due out in the new year, but I'm going to give you a look at them right now. First up in my hands is the v -Core 95 and this is the seventh generation of the v -Core, and there's some uh, hidden details in the cosmetics of this one to give you some clues on that. So right here um, on the edge of the frame we have 07VC and that's the internal product code for the seventh generation V-Core. It's the first time Yonex have called that out in one of their cosmetics. And then also if you look at the blue too, you can see a seven and an O when you look at these uh, blue highlights on the frame right there. So another call out to this gen of the V-Core. Other changes on this one, they've widened it at the 10 and two areas. So you're gonna get um, more heating area, bigger spin window up there, the top of the hoop of the racket. And also I'm finding these rackets to play softer and more forgiving than the outgoing version. So many of the specs are the same. You're gonna find a really similar static weight. Swing weights are pretty close to uh, right within spec that we would expect on these rackets. And then also the balance is right where we would expect it but the flex we are finding to come down a little bit and I can definitely feel that in the playability, especially of the 95 and the 98, finding some really nice feel on these rackets. So if we really feel the racket breathing, so it's flexing, not just coming back, but also you can feel that hoop compressing and cupping the ball at impact and I just feel more connected to my shots. The flaring of the 10 and two at the hoop um, is also giving this racket a nice launch angle. So you get a bit more loop I'm getting a little bit more loop on my shots and I'm really enjoying these rackets with a soft co-poly string because I find that emphasizes that dwell time, that sense of pocketing, and also get a nice loopy shot out of the racket. And so I'm getting some great clearance on the net, still getting plenty of spin to get the ball dipping inside the lines. And I'm just enjoying the feel of these rackets. Love the 95, probably my favorite one of the group so far and I've hit these rackets a ton. I was over in Japan and I spent a lot of time hitting, especially the, the 100 um, over the, the two weeks I was over there for. So uh, next up I got the 98. Uh, again, very similar story going on with that flaring of the hoop. You can see now all these models, um, just a better breathing racket, a better feeling racket. I feel just really good sense, good connection to the ball, a nice soft plush feel, very forgiving. Um, I think both of these for uh, smaller head sizes, 95 and 98, still huge sweet spots, really forgiving, great access to spin and plenty of pop there, good, good height and depth on your shots. The, the one I've hit the most is this 100 and um, this one, the ball really comes out nicely. Again, you got 100 square inches in with that flaring at the 10 and two, super access to spin. You can really cut the ball aggressively um, and uh, you know, I'm not shanking it, I'm still finding the string bed and so I'm really able to turn the fast swing into maximum spin with these. So really fun racket to get out, loving the 100 as well. I think this is a great update to the V-Core line across the board. And then suddenly um, here with the 100L, if you want something really fast and easy to get around the body and you want to maximize your swing speed, the 100L is the lightest of the hundreds. It's a great way to get that. And it's also a good fit for maybe the smaller framed adult or um, a junior transitioning into their first adult length racket, they're gonna get a ton of playability out of something like this 100L. And again, anyone who's just looking to swing quickly, great way to go right there. That's all I got for this week. Thank you so much for watching.